what is up, guys? Find out. So, let's see what's going on for Virgo. <clears throat> shuffle one more time. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. What is the current energy for my Virgos? I want to think about it for a second. It's going to tap in. Alright. <clears throat> let's see about it. That's a lot of cards, so let's start here. Um, King of Swords in reverse. I see you in this energy of kind of laying down your swords, kind of surrendering. Um, just kind of being like, I feel like you're trying to bring completion to a cycle here. With the Three of Swords, I see that you've had your heart broken in the recent past. Um... Could have been like in a like third party situation or like a love triangle um the fool in reverse uh you didn't want to do anything stupid or impulsive right and you feel like you feel like you handled yourself well in in you know how things ended with the five of wands in reverse i see the end of conflict for you <clears throat> Like the end of feeling conflicted, you know, this goes back to the King of Swords in reverse, like kind of laying down your swords, being like, all right, I ain't even mad about this situation anymore. I just want it to be done. <laughs> like, it's just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Seven of Cups, like I saw, I see like that, um, like options started showing up for you in regards to love and romance. And you kind of started seeing like, hey, there's more fish in the sea. <laughs> like, what have I been doing this whole time? Tripping about something, you know, that, you know, Ten of Cups in reverse, it's like, you thought that that was going to be, like, your happily ever after, and it just did not turn out to be that. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, I see, like, you kind of not going back into that cycle, you know, Ten of Cups kind of represents cycles as well so it's like not going back into that cycle um <clears throat> seven of swords in reverse yeah laying down your swords um feeling kind of like like it's time to breathe it out and kind of like work it out and you know see what you're feeling and you know dive deep into that so <clears throat> this is a lot. This is a lot of growth. This is a lot. Um, to get to that point where, like, you know, you're just feeling over a situation. Just, you know, over whatever happened in the past. Like, you feel like you've reached some, like, you're in that healing energy, you know? And you're just kind of like, I just want it to be over, like all the conflict, all the war, all the nonsense, like, Yeah, dude, I see you falling in love again, <laughs> King of Cups. I see you, I see you falling in love again um, with somebody that you don't want to walk away from, right? Somebody that you don't feel will walk away from you. 
uh, somebody that you feel is like solid, right? <clears throat> With the moon in reverse, this could mean a couple things. One, it could be a Pisces. Um, that's a Pisces card. And there's a lot of cups here. So, you know, I would say, you know, that's a, a pretty good possibility it could be a Pisces. Um, I also like see like if it is they might be a little out of balance um otherwise there might be things that you're still discovering about them right um things that you feel like there's so much more to learn you know from them king of wands in reverse i feel like there's something that you didn't tell them though or something that you're not being honest about. Um, especially with the moon in reverse, it like, it heavily says that, and it's, you know, um, so, I mean, I don't know, it's your journey, man, but it looks like there's something that you're not being honest about. But the four of swords in reverse, it feels like you're not really healed. From your situation like maybe that's what you're not being honest about like you're probably still in that three of swords energy of feeling heartbroken you know and so like not being fully healed up this could be like a rebound um but you're trying to redirect your feelings somewhere else because you do really care about this other person um You know, sometimes it really be like that. Uh -uh. I can't judge you on your journey. Like, shit happens, you know? Um, I've been there, you know? How the fuck could I judge? You know, sometimes, like... You know, I used to think, like, if I just distracted myself with another person, I could get another person out of my head, you know? Until I met, like, one person that I just couldn't, I couldn't get them out of my head, and it made me completely asexual, <laughs> like, I, I just don't know anymore what's going on, um, and, you know, so I get you, I feel you, um, eventually, you know, you should really have a discussion with your higher self about, like, why you feel what you feel and why you're holding on so strongly like that's pretty much what it's giving me <laughs> um i think it's kind of like telling you the future remains to be seen for you. There's a few different ways you could take this. Um, I feel like, you know, sometimes there are situations that we do have to let go that we don't want to, right? We don't, we don't want to my dog used to <laughs> trying to play um yeah um you know sometimes we don't want to let go of some past idea that we had about love you know um and i think you have to really ask yourself why. Like, did it ever bring you happiness? Did it ever, like, add more fulfillment to your life? Or did it just bring chaos? Because I see a lot of conflict. And it's like when you let go of this, you finally get to relax. You, kind of, you finally get, like, respite from the chaos and the madness, you know? And it's like, I think it's time to be honest with yourself a little bit and be like, it needs to be really done. Like all the way done where you're just like you know that person doesn't enter your mind you know you're not like observing their social media you just kind of like block them out of your life 
and that's that. Um, sometimes it really do got to be like that. And, you know, I wish you luck on your journey because it's hard. It's hard. I know. Letting go of somebody that you think is like the one is hard as fuck. It's important as fuck too sometimes. You know. It's important as fuck. Um I wish you luck and I wish you so much happiness. Um and light and love on your journey. Cause I do see that you just have so much to give, you know? And give it to the right person. Give it to somebody who really wants it, who works for it, who deserves it, you know? Um, don't give it to these people who just can't reciprocate that. You know, they're just not at that place in their life, you know? And they hurt you. And you might have hurt them too, because I see you have a sword in your hand too, you know? It could have been just like this back and forth, this karmic thing, you know? And it's like, now it's time to kind of stop beating each other up with these emotional sticks <laughs> and just kind of be like done with it, you know? Just done. Um, it's like you found in this past situation with this karmic, it's like you found your greatest opponent. You know, you weren't finding your greatest partner. And now I see potential for a really great partner. You just need to have your head in the game. You know, <laughs> you have to have your head in the right place. You need to be, you know, like excited about them and all about them, you know. Um, and I feel like that will be life altering for you. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys. Have a great day.